Hello everyone, today we continue our lesson with graphing sine and cosine functions. Elvis is a cosine wave which repeats every six minutes and oscillates between three and negative one. It also has a maximum value at three seconds. So we can think of this as Elvis at a time t is equal to a this is a cosine wave, so let's try cosine bx plus c plus d. And our goal is to try to find the values for a, b, c, and d, based on the information that we have. We may just want to sketch a diagram of what this information is telling us. For example, says it's a cosine wave and it repeats every six minutes so it can one two three four five six so we know that at this point whatever it started at it's going to be repeating again it's going to be changing um to the same the same pattern over and over again it oscillates between three and negative one your three here would be the height of your wave. Okay, so between three and negative one. Okay, and it says that it has a minimum value at three seconds. If three seconds re refer to the time. Okay, three seconds refers to the time. So three seconds it has a minimum value. So if it's a cosine wave oscillating between 3 and negative 1 it has a minimum value at 3 so the minimum here would be a 3 negative 1 right 3 time 3 and then this is at 6 so it's a cosine wave to like go down and then up right that's where your minimum is. Okay, now let us try to find the values of A, B, C, and D. The A is your amplitude. Right, so A is so what we know is equal to the max value minus the min value over 2. Right, so that would be 3 minus negative 1 over 2, which is going to be 2. So your A is 2. Then the period will locate first, then to find B. So the period is the difference between the 6 and the 0. That's where it repeats. That 6 minus 0 is going to be 6. And what we also know is that the period we found by 2 pi over b, so we can use this idea to find b. Therefore, plug it in 6 will be equal to 2 pi over b. Then that means that b would be equal to 2 pi over 6. And that would be equal to pi over 3. So that we just found a value for b, that's pi over 3. There's no phase shift because if you look at this, it looks just like it's positioned like the original cosine wave. So there's no phase shift. So if there's no phase shift or C is equal to zero, then finally to find our D, D will be equal to maximum plus minimum. It's a minimum function value over 2. So that would be 3 plus negative 1 over 2. And that will give us 1. So your D value A is 1. C is 0. So now that we have all the parts, we can write our equation. So our equation would be E of T, that is Elvis, is a function of time. It's equal to 2 cosine pi over 3 times x 
plus one. And so that is your equation for your Elvis cosine weight. Okay, let's look at another example. Determine the coordinates of the first maximum turning point of the graph three sine of 11x in the interval zero to two pi. So we are somewhere in the interval zero to, let's see, two pi will be somewhere out here. So pi would probably be here, so on. This is a sine function. Remember our original sine function, our range was was negative one to one. This three is a vertical stretch of our sine function. Or what that's what amplitude does. So that means the new function, the range of the new one of this function, 3 sine of x would be 3 times negative 1 to 1, so that will stretch it to negative 3 to 3, right? So we're, we're stretching it a little bit, okay? So your new function will go with this function because the amplitude is 3, and there's no vertical shift upwards, so you're now between negative three to positive three. Right, so it's negative three, positive three. Okay, now we want to find out what our new domain is. So new domain, so our original domain of our sine function was from 0 to 2 pi. To find the cycle for 3 sine 11x, look at the 11x is affecting our domain. So what we do is that we set our 11x between 0 and 2 pi and solve for x. Okay. So what we will do to solve for x, divide each section by 11. So your domain is, or your domain of 3 sine of 11x will be between 0 and 2 pi over 11. Okay, so let's say 2 pi over 11, somewhere here, let's say 2 pi over 11. It's not drawn to scale, so let's say this is where it's at. So between 0 and 2 pi over 11, we have four quarters, right? So I want to split this. 2 pi over 11 to 4, so we want to get our 4 quarters out of the way, so 4 quarters. So 2 pi over 11 divided by 4 will give us pi over 22. Okay, so your first quarter will be at pi over 22. So this first quarter we have pi over 22. And if we recall what our sine function looked like, our sine function looked like, then your first maximum will be at 
pi over 22 and 3. So that's the coordinates of your first maximum. Okay, let's look at another example real quick. Determine a number a that will make the function f of x is equal to negative 6 plus a cosine 2x. Oscillate between negative 15 and 3. So 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we're oscillating between negative 15 and 3. And so what we are looking for here is your A or your amplitude, your A or your amplitude. And again, what we said well, for amplitude or A was equal to the max minus min over 2. And so that would be 3 minus negative 15 over 2. So the amplitude would be 9. Or if you want to look for the midpoint of this, which was at negative 6, and note the difference between that would be 9. Okay, so that is the A that we are looking for. Well, let's look at an example 14. Um, the water level relative to the dock of a boat varies with the tide on one particular day. The tide occurs at midnight. The water level is seven feet below the dock. At high tide, it occurs at 6 a.m. The water is three feet below the dock. The next low tide occurs at noon. The water is again seven feet below the dock. Assuming those behave like a cosine wave, we want to form WFT is equal to A cos B T plus C plus D. The value of the WT is the water level in feet relative to the top of the dock T hours after midnight. So if we let midnight be at zero, so firstly it's below at zero, so it's negative seven below, then at six AM. So we draw a diagram to model or to model this. Or then that we have here, the dock level is here. And so we want to find, again, just like we did previously, values for A, B, C, and D. The amplitude is our max minus min over 2, the 3, negative 3 minus negative 7 over 2, so your A is 2. Um, your period is 12, because it repeats at 12 hours, so 12 minus 0, that's 12. The period is also 2 pi over b, and so we're solving for b. 12 is equal to 2 pi over b, so b would be equal to 2 pi over 12, so b would be pi over 6, so we found a and b. We take the phase shift to be 0 if there's no phase shift. Think of it as having no phase shift. And the vertical shift is the max plus min all over 2, so your vertical shift would be negative 5. So if we have all of that, our equation then becomes W of t is equal to, our amplitude was 2, but because this looks like an inverted or flipped cosine wave, so we choose A is equal to negative 2. Okay, absolute value of 2, but because this is a flipped cosine wave, or it looks like a flipped of the original cosine, then we choose A is equal to negative 2. So the equation then would be W of 2 is equal to negative 2 cosine pi over 6x, C is 0, and then minus 5, because there was no phase shift. Okay. This is not the only equation we could write. Um, think about if we assume there was a phase shift of 6 based on our original cosine. Think of the cosine, original cosine function starting here and shifting up by 6. Then we could write a different um, equation, um, choosing your phase shift to be negative. Uh, 6 to be positive 6 and so c will be negative pi so your new function will be 2 cosine pi 